what the basis is for the for the new charge and then for the additional perjury charge against Mr. Sansom? Uh, well, I mean, that will that will unfold in the, I guess, the weeks ahead. But uh, basically, we had uh, Representative Sampson's uh, grand jury testimony transcribed. And, uh, and then we have received additional documentation uh, since the indictment and additional investigation, which led to the, to the charge of perjury uh, before the grand jury. As to, uh, basically, it, and when you get a copy of it, is, is to as to the location of of this uh, building that was going to be built and as to the use of the building that whether it would be used by a private individual or not. So we've developed uh, information that the intent and plan was for Jay Odom to use the building. Um, that was before the appropriation and even after the appropriation. So that's the basis of the charge of perjury. It's so he, it, just to clarify, he testified contrary to that, that, that Mr. Odom was not going to use. That no individual was going to use that building. No private individual would have use of the building. And there are, there's much documentation to the contrary. Can you explain some of that documentation? Well, it's emails from the president of the college and uh, the people in charge of that, that issue and, uh, and testimony of uh, prior witnesses before the grand jury. What was the nature of the official misconduct? Well, it it uh, you excuse me just a second. It, it was the, the the official official misconduct is the same as it was originally. That the appropriation was for a multiple use joint use building, which means that the legislature was misled by that appropriation Sorry. appropriation uh, because the building that was being built was in fact a, a, an aircraft hangar. What, what changed Be, before the, Mr. Odom, we asked, and, and you said that, you know, there's, that there isn't any law out there that says that you can't, you know, a private citizen can't seek something for his own personal gain. What, what changed? Well, at the, 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 that was the additional information that we received, uh, that, that he was, in fact, uh, a participant in getting this funding uh, uh, through Representative Sampson. Can you, can you elaborate at all? I mean, what, what do the emails say or, or, or well, show? Well, we, we found a document, a lease, where he was going to move aircraft into the building as soon as it was built. And we have a copy of that lease now that we didn't have before. Where did that copy come from? It came from the university after President Richburg was no longer president. Did he, did, did, did he pr provide that, or did someone else? Did he who? Uh, Mr. Richburg. No. He was no longer at the university. The university provided it. When we asked for additional information, additional information came forward. What happens from here? Well, I guess we'll go into the discovery process and uh, uh, get prepared either for a plea or a trial. Will there be any conspiracy charges brought? Any, you know? No, I think, you know, the grand jury has, has had uh, information on all of that and uh, this was, as, as you all well know, you were outside while I was out with you. Uh, they determined that these charges were appropriate and uh, uh, moved forward with them. Can, can you talk a little bit more about Representative Sansom's, um, the, the additional perjury charge? I mean, that he, he, has, he has said, and I, I'm, I'm assuming he's told the jurors here that he was unaware of, of certain plans. What, what, what can well, you tell Well, and, and I'm trying to be, I don't, I don't want to be, evasive with y'all because y'all have been great. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not totally clear at this point uh, in my mind what I can tell you. Uh, I know we've had the grand jury, his previous grand jury testimony transcribed and that's for use at trial and, uh, and I'm, I'm just not really totally sure right this minute that I can, that I can give that to you. I think when it goes out in discovery, it probably will be discoverable, and y'all can have access. Is there a thumbnail version, though? I mean that. Well, basically, the is the charge when you when you pick up the charge, the charge will be that the that he testified that this would was never going to be for private use, and and he testified to that numerous times over in, uh, in the transcript, and. Uh, and that's why I'm, I'm a little hesitant to try to get into those areas because I don't think that's, it may not be appropriate at this moment. But, but what did you find? Well, we found documents to the contrary that would make that. Including a lease? Well, there, there is a lease. 
There was a proposed lease, yes. And, and that lease that lease showed what exactly? Well, that Jay Odom was going to lease the building once it was built to store aircraft for his fixed-based operation. Did you again call, did you again ask Mr. Odom to testify? No, I did not. Have you been in contact with his attorneys? I have. Have they, have they given you any information or? They want information, they're not giving a whole lot, so. Uh, but we'll provide it to them. Is there anything that makes Dan a public official or that the official no, uh, the official misconduct as it pertains to him, there's a uh, chapter 777.11, which is cited in the indictment, says that uh, if you, 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 can be, you can be a principal to a crime, which means if you aid, abet, encourage, abet, encourage, hire, otherwise procure another person to commit a crime, all of those things, there's ors in between all of those, uh, uh, then you become a... Uh, a principle to the crime, and you're, you know, you don't, you don't even have to be present when the crime was committed to be a principle. Is there any evidence at all that that the, the parties involved here had, at some point, discussed either electronically or over the phone or something, or to, you know, hey, this controversy is, is swelling. What, what what are we going to do about it? Is there anything to, to that? I, if there are, I haven't seen them. I haven't seen them. Well, no, the, the, the initial indictment uh, did not charge him with perjury, and so the, the grand jury considered additional information as it was received, so they just did, you know, it's, it's, it's a superseding, is they, they did an amended uh, uh, indictment adding that charge, and so the, everything on the original was the same except an additional charge of perjury. On Samson and, and uh, a new charge, which we'll try to consolidate into the uh, other charge. 